This time we are going to the sewers, which is what I say every time I enter on the- Oh, wow! You're kind of spoiling the joke there! <laughs> Let me deal with this first. Right, this time we're going to the sewers, which is what I say every time I enter an online forum. There you go, wasn't it worth waiting for? This is by a dill pickle in disguise, I'm not sure it's in disguise as what, but it's definitely a dill pickle. Uh, okay, so, uh, as you can see, beginner map, we've got a classic helipad here, lit up with uh, some fluorescent lighting on the floor. Uh, we've got our tech base, we have some tunnels going to the left and right. Whoa, we have some shotgunners. I was I was whoa! I was actually really lucky with that opening. Oh, that's a generous supercharge. I although, like I said, I was really lucky here because there's no cover. You can't really do anything about the hit scatters, and it's just random whether whether they pummel you or not. Um, so I would possibly put uh, this further back a bit and give the player some rocks or grafts tufts just to uh, let them have a chance. Let's go down here. More shotgunners. A chainsaw. A well-executed trap and a chainsaw. What's happening? Oh, Jesus. Well, <laughs> you like the traps, don't you? All right, let's, uh, uh, let's comment on a few more things here. Um, it's usually better to have a separation between floor textures. Just one step up and down can do it uh, to make it look like the grass isn't running into the carpet or the rock texture here. You can do a little stairway up to the uh, front of the base or something. I do like the uh, lights on the front there. And for here, when the doors open, uh, if you use the door track texture and you do lower unpegged uh, the flag on these walls, then it'll look like it'll look like the wall isn't coming up with the uh, movement. You can see it on this crusher here, where it looks like the entire space is moving up and down, which might be what you want there. It might not be, but uh, lower unpegged will make the wall draw from the floor instead. And it'll make the ball not move as the ceiling does. Okay then. Um, I do like this blue hologram here. I'm and I'm not sure how you did it. Is it? Is it? Uh, is it coloured lighting in GZ Doom? I'm not even sure. But that's nice. Let's head inside. We've got oh the exit already and okay. Little office there, picture, anything behind the picture, maybe a safe. And what's in here? Well, All right, they were having a little uh, health potion party here. And let's see, what's this do? Open this door. What? Oh, oh, what? What happened there? Hang on. That, I didn't loop round, did I? Because that's, yeah, that's nowhere near that on the map. You go through this door. No, it doesn't happen again. All right, maybe I just hallucinated. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> thing about beginner maps is that um, you're often surprised. You never quite know what's going to happen. That is a bit weird having a door there that just leads you back to the start. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what that's about, but uh, we'll see. What's all right, uh, I see they've already taken care of you. Yeah, it's it's a decent enough base, but it is kind of um, it is kind of cramped. A very uh, very straight lines. All right. Okay. And, okay, there's the exit. I, I was challenged to find both the secrets. I've got one. And... Oh, was that? That wasn't there before. Oh, is that locked with the... Is that locked with the blue key? 
Hmm. It doesn't really look like it's locked with a blue key. I would use the door blue or door... Uh, I think that's what it's called. Door blue um, textures on the border there to indicate it is locked with a blue key. Because uh, this uh, tech blue could be anything. It could be just the texture behind the switch. Then again, if uh, in your wad, as you continue it, you want the player to recognize blue switches and yellow switches and red switches, you can recolor the texture and use them as a background. That works too. <coughs> All right. Whoa, okay. All right, so that was the door I couldn't open. Very nice, and you get a little uh, bonanza in here for discovering uh, that secret by leading you around the map. Yeah, that's, that's pretty okay. You, you, you switch multiple switches, you follow a trail, find a secret. All right. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and here... I don't think the uh, uh, muddy waterfall exists in uh, the Doom texture, but uh, you, you could download one, put it into your wad, and so that you, the river doesn't look like it's flowing uphill. Otherwise, yeah, you've got the basics here. I think I've said a few things that could be improved. I would set the doors back as well in their frames so that uh, you can have a door frame and it doesn't look like the doors are disappearing into the ceiling. But you've got the basics. I would I would use more uh, diagonal lines, put in more details in your corridors. You could have some monitors set into the wall, computers out, in the, out from the wall. And that would also give the player some room to manoeuvre, uh, to hide behind and to use cover and pop out instead of having to just dodge around hit scanners and hope they don't hit. Um, the use of the exit sign there is kind of weird. Uh, I mean, in a real building again, yes, you'd have a fire exit sign leading to the exit, but in Doom, it's common just to have an exit sign at the exit. Uh, this is a kind of a super exit sign you've invented there, <laughs> saying that this is definitely the exit. But yeah, again, um, you've got the basics right, and I think you should definitely continue with this world and uh, see where it goes. I didn't even have to press. Uh, I didn't even have to press use on the door to exit it. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs>